I'm going to say this. If you're squeamish and you're not prepared, they do eat mice and these mice are alive. So I'm going to go into my snake room where I do keep locked 24 hours a day. And we are going to be feeding our babies. So get ready. And here are my two baby Southern Pacific rattlesnakes. Uh, both are about a year old and they are going to be eating their mice. So um, I do feed them live. Some people ask me why I won't feed them frozen. These are baby Southern Pacific rattlesnakes that were picked up in the wild. So I wanna make sure that if I'm going to be releasing these younglings back into the wild, that they are given as much of a natural diet as humanly possible. So um, first thing is first, I do want to separate them from each other. Um, both of them are hungry. Uh, they feed once a week as these younglings. So I am gonna separate him from his little sister. As I separate him, I'm then going to take a mouse that will be appropriate for his size. And if you're squeamish, now's the time to turn away. Okay, so he has bitten the mouse. The mouse has venom is flowing through him. And you'll see that that venom acts very, very, very quickly. Um, that venom does incapacitate the mouse. The mouse then passes out. And once I leave here, the snake will eat, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other. Oh, the mouse, the venom is flowing through him. I am going to push him closer to the rattlesnake. Okay, now remember, this is a natural, natural way of life. This is the circle of life. Now these snakes are not aggressive, but they are hungry and they do need to eat the same as everything else. Okay, so both of the rattlesnakes have been separated. One of them has introduced more venom than the other. Therefore, the venom has acted faster. And at this time, they have both completed the job of what they need. We will zoom into him, and I will give him some time to grab a hold of this. And that's that. Now, I know that uh, it's really not the most ideal thing, and I think there's a lot of people that are going to give me flack and heat on this video, but I think what it's important to note is exactly how the rattlesnake venom actually works. Um, the difference between a solid bite and a partial bite. Full injection of venom versus partial injection of venom. Just know that everything that happened in this video um, is something that happens in the wild on a daily basis for every animal. And I respect these animals more than most human beings for that matter. And I'm going to continue to make sure that they're given the life that they're supposed to. So I'm really glad you uh, followed along. I'm really glad you watched it. If you have any questions, message me. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them. Try not to be a 
inappropriate or anything, but um, just know that this is a way of life. So I would really love it uh, with Danger Noodle Project if you could like and subscribe to our channel, uh, like this video, do what you gotta do, because I did walk away from a very solid career in sales so I could pursue my passion for reptiles and educating the public with reptiles. Um, this is just a part of our day of life. And, you know, if uh, you like seeing the feedings, we'll continue to show the feedings. If you like seeing the rescues, I'll continue to show them the, or I'll continue to show the rescues. So really appreciate you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you got any questions or if there's something else you want to see. Bye.